up guys welcome back to the channel if you are new to the channel I am your stupid ass host all American truck guy now today's video is gonna be a wee bit of a truck update um, I've changed quite a few things on my truck since the last time I made a video so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys the changes I made it's a completely different color I uh, I went ahead and did a bed delete on it and I put a pack cap on it and I also did a GMC front end instead of the Chevy because you know Chevy's overrated but obviously guys I no longer have the Silverado if you haven't picked up on it I sold my Silverado that was my baby it was an extremely hard choice but I did it and here I am I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the full rundown of this truck and give you a full tour of this truck or SUV or soccer mom car like some of you like to say this thing's got just as many balls as my truck did actually this is way more powerful than my truck ever was just gonna go ahead and throw that out there but yeah I'll go ahead and give you guys a tour and explain why I got this and got rid of my truck you guys can see right off the bat the interior is a little different than my truck it's all leather leathers in pretty good condition there's I mean there's this it's not super perfect but it's in really good condition especially for it being an 03 but there's my monster for my empty monster can um but yeah as you can see leather is in really good condition carpet definitely needs to be shampooed the carpet's disgusting truth be told i would honestly kind of rather prefer my old interior just because it's darker and i like the dark color better i don't really care for the tan especially with these carpets i don't know what kind of idiot puts a tan carpet in a vehicle, a truck nonetheless? It's pretty idiotic, to be completely honest. But this is one of the reasons I bought this truck. If you look at that, 166,000 miles, started up, no lights on the dash at all. No lights. But if you guys are returning, you'll know my truck had over 200,000 miles on it and I spent so much money on that truck from the time I got it to when I got rid of it and I just couldn't justify spending money on it anymore. It was getting to the point where I wanted to do a lot of stuff to it and it just didn't make sense to do that to that truck because it started having some transmission issues. It was shifting hard and flaring and if you're familiar with 4060Es, you know they're pretty notorious for shitting the bed on you. So I was like, should I sell it or keep it and buy a transmission? Well, I called around, got some quotes on a transmission, and that kind of made up my mind for me because I was like, I am not spending two grand on a transmission for this shitbox. So here we are in another shitbox. It's a Yukon. It's not, it's not quite a pickup. It's not quite the same. I'm still kind of adjusting to it just because I prefer pickup trucks. But it'll do for now, and I'll be able to expand and do the stuff that I want to do with this truck given the mileage because it doesn't have 200,000 and the transmission is in boom when I'm going into third and stuff like that so I hope you guys stick with me and you don't ditch me because I got rid of a truck and I got a sucker mom car but yeah there's gonna be a lot of stuff that'll be done to this truck in the near future so if you guys are interested in that I suggest you stick around and wait to see what I do